As the man says in this video, this is the third smallest chameleon in the world. Now you look at this thing and you wonder, how could any lizard get smaller than this? And this is a gravid female, meaning it's a pregnant female. Well, where this is found in Madagascar, there's like an arms race to become the smallest animal you possibly can be. And this, so far, is the winner. This is Brokezia nana, nana. And this chameleon is no bigger than a sunflower seed, as you can see on the tip of somebody's finger. That thing is micro. But here's the thing. I'd probably wager that there are even smaller ones out there. As you can see from this map of Madagascar, there are a ton of species of dwarf chameleons. And the small species we just talked about is the one where the star is, the Sorata. But there are a bunch of other species that are very closely related. And these guys live in the leaf litter on these forest floors. And they all pretty much kind of look the same. They're very small and they're brown for the most part, trying to blend in with all those leaves. And it seems like every other year, there's a new one discovered that's even smaller than the last one. But the newest one that was just discovered, the actual smallest, at least currently, the Brooksii Nana, has a little bit of a secret. And I'm just joking by when I say little. Here's the thing, not much is known about these animals. Because A, they were just discovered only a couple of years ago. And B, not many of them have been found. <laughs> but of course, we know how big its junk is. And compared to the rest of the body, it's massive. Be like if Mini-Me was walking around with a 12-inch long. But yeah, all that just goes to say that there's probably another chameleon out there we just haven't seen yet that's even smaller. But we may never actually be able to find it because, well, its home's being burnt down and turned into farmland. I mean, obviously, this thing doesn't necessarily want to be seen. Of course, this is not the same species. It's just one of them. And if you just wanted to look like a leaf your whole life, would you want anybody else to find you or see you?